Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at some actually quite disturbing changes that have happened to Microsoft Edge, the browser which comes pre-installed with Windows 10 and Windows 11, and is actually very difficult to remove in its entirety without basically breaking the operating system. So when Microsoft start putting in new little features, features, as I like to call them, then it does get a little bit intrusive. So we're gonna take a look today at two which I find actually quite disturbing, and I'm going to show you how to potentially disable them, or at least until the next update anyway. So with all that said, let's head over to the computer and take a look. Okay, so this is our Windows 11 desktop. Now currently when I turn on the PC, frequently I'm finding that when I boot up, even though it should be just to my plain desktop, it opens up the Edge browser, which is installed here. So I turn on the computer and the first thing I'm greeted with is all this nonsense, which I don't particularly want and I didn't actually ask for. So that is a little bit of a pain in the backside. Some of you may find that when you turn on your computer, there'll be an option in this top corner to do certain things such as import browsing history, renew tabs, etc. This is where part of this actually comes from. And if you're not too sure what it is, you may click on it by mistake and then find yourself with all this nonsense happening on startup. So the first one is basically your data being transferred. So if you don't use Microsoft Edge as your default browser, it can still actually transfer data from other browsers and other parts of the system into your browser to make your life more, well, easy, so they say. But for privacy purposes, most people don't want that. So in order to change that setting, you wanna head up into the three little dots at the top there when you're signed into your browser, click on that, and we wanna go down to our settings tab, now in the settings tab, you can actually get here easy by just typing edge colon forward slash forward slash settings forward slash profiles. And in this section, what we wanna look for is this section here, which says import browser data. This is often asked when you first start up edge, when you install your new system and you go through some things and generally you're probably gonna say no to most of it, but with updates, it does change things. So let's take a look inside import browser data and see what it actually does. So as you can see, this is what it's attempting to do. So you have the option to import data from Google Chrome. Now some things may be useful, so bookmarks, passwords, some of your history, etc., may be useful, in which case click on import and you'll have all of your shortcuts like I've got at the top here. So this is actually quite handy. You also got the option to import data from the old Internet Explorer 11, should you be using it, so same thing applies. And if you've got other browsers, you can use this option here to import from other browsers, and you can also import from other password managers. Potentially you may want to do that, you may not. This bit here is the more concerning one. So this is import browsing data at each browser launch. So what it says there is you, you'll always have access to your recent browsing data each time you're browsing on Microsoft Edge. So this is gonna bring in data from other sources such as Google Chrome for instance. So if you're doing something on Chrome, then you go and open up Microsoft Edge. Basically everything you've ever done in Chrome will be transferred into Edge, which I think is a little bit intrusive, but you can change that. So let's go into edit preferences. And this is essentially what goes on. Now you can, if you want to turn all of this stuff off just by clicking the turn off button here. There are some things which you may actually want to have transferred over. So potentially, obviously change this how you want. So autofill, you've got the option to toggle that on or off. Your browsing history, again, on or off. Cookies, those could be useful. You've also got extensions, favorites and bookmarks. Those are currently grayed out because they're already kind of preset. You've also got open tabs. So if you close down your Chrome browser and you have multiple tabs open, if you then open up Edge, it can reopen those tabs, which is a little bit scary. Also things like payment info and save passwords. So essentially it isn't down to you as the viewer to decide which one of these actually makes sense to you. From a privacy standpoint, my suggestion will be to click on turn off and basically stop this happening altogether. That way you can have total control. Well, there's never total control, but you can have at least more control of the data that goes into individual browsers without them basically cross-linking, which is uh, pretty horrendous. So I'm gonna go ahead here and turn that section off very shortly. But another thing I wanted to show you, and this is another very creepy thing, if you're finding that your browser, or 
Microsoft Edge, which may not be your default browser, is actually starting when you turn on Windows without your clicking on anything at all. It just appears as a browser, full screen, front and center. You possibly don't want that. So if you head over into this section on the side where we've got Start, Home and New Tabs, click on this one, and you can see we've got things which happens when Microsoft Edge starts. But the more important one is this one here now. So they've actually added this recently to the new version of Edge. So we've got the option here, when your Windows device starts, you've got a checkbox there for automatically opens Microsoft Edge when you sign into Windows. So this is, I feel, very intrusive. And I don't like this at all. I don't want a browser to open just randomly when I turn on my computer. That's my decision. So I'm definitely gonna be turning this one off and potentially I suggest you do as well. And again, going back to the other sections, so in your profiles and import user data. Again, I would say edit your preferences. I'm actually gonna turn all of this off. And you get the warning here saying, do you want to turn off importing browser data from other browsers? And also this will clear data as well. So yes, I'm gonna do that and click on confirm. So there we go. That has made it somewhat more uh, usable. And also it now means that you can use Edge as a separate browser rather than just being a continuation of Chrome. And after closing the browser and reopening it, you can see I'm still signed in. You've still got all of your own settings and you've still got all of your shortcuts that you had. It just means that now when you open up Chrome and close it, it's not going to automatically try and transfer all of that browsing information into the Edge browser. So there you go, some pretty scary stuff if I'm completely honest with you. And it's something which I feel Microsoft is doing more and more these days. And I don't think it's the right way to go. I think a browser should be something which is lightweight, relatively portable, and doesn't contain an absolute ton of information about you, especially if there's gonna be any potential hacks or anything which happens to the Microsoft operating system, in which case false actors can gain all of your data, which is, again, pretty scary. So do be careful out there. Make sure you know what's going on with your computer. If you're not sure, obviously make sure you subscribe to the channel. And as these things come out, we'll try and inform you and educate you on how to mitigate these things and uh, hopefully prevent them from happening in the future. I think that's gonna wrap this video up. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button. If you wanna see more content like this on a daily basis, hit subscribe and the chime notification and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.